I wouldn't have been able to rig that main halyard if it wasn't for an innovation we refer to as the Harkin Bat Car Switch Track System. Hi, I'm Neil Evans with the Harkin Tech Team. Again, here in Sheboygan, Wisconsin on a Tartan 4000. We're going to go over the bat car system on this boat. This bat car system happens to be a Harkin switch track bat car system. Harkin bat car systems, primarily the switch track system like this on this boat, they were developed for mega yachts. Some of the largest yachts in the world wanted to reduce their stack height. Stack heights that could be 40 feet high with a conventional bat car system or even higher. How could we cut that in half? Well, the Harkin switch track system does that. It reduces that stack height. It makes the main way more manageable. And in doing that, we've also found out that our customers all the way down the range is in boats are looking for this same convenience. Here we're on a 40 foot boat with our smallest system and we've reduced this stack height to a very convenient and manageable size. What we're referring to in stack height is the, the height from the basically the gooseneck here up the mast that the main will stack when it's flaked in, down onto the boom. So as the main comes down, it piles up material. If this was a conventional bat car system, it also piles up the bat cars. And those bat cars stack one on top of each other until they go in up the rig. With a switch track system, because we have two tracks here, the cars pick and choose which side, effectively reducing that height to half of its original height. So one of the most common questions we get is how do the cars know which side of the track to pick? So as we lower this main, and I'm going to help it out here, as we lower it, you'll see that the car picks its own side to come down. As it picks it and it continues to lower down the track, it will slide down. Now as the next car comes down, the next car will choose the other side. So you can see how this is reducing that stack height as it's coming down. So as we were talking about, the cars know which side of the track to go down through the switch based on the pins on the bottom of those cars. These pins basically dictate which side it goes down. So if the pins are on the left side, it's going to go down the right side of the track. If the pins are on the right side of the car, it's going to go down the left side of the track. So if we were to happen to see like this car come down this side of the track, the process of getting it to go down this side of the track is as simple as it gets. We would remove this screw in the bolt, take the car, flip it over, reinstall it on the track, reinstall the uh, screw in the nut, and it would pick the proper side. So basically those pegs are on the, each side. So you don't have left and right cars. If you see such a thing, you simply know that one car is upside down and that it needs to be flipped over. One thing we offer in our switch track systems, not in the smaller system, but is a storm sail tri sail switch track. And basically all it is, is it takes advantage of the current track going up the mast by adding a second switch and having a track that bends and wraps down along the mast that you can feed and load your storm sail or your tri sail onto raise it up. And then when the sail is lowered, it comes off to the side of the boom and can be put away. A Harkin bat car system or bat car switch track system, as in this case, are very simple to install. You should check out our other videos related to those on the Tech Team page. But basically, all you need to do is select the proper track and cars for your boat, and we're willing to help with that, and then the proper slug to fit your mast. The slug is basically an insert that fits into the internal groove on the mast and then gets screwed into place holding the track firmly to the mast. I can't tell you how much a back car system will simplify and change your sailing experience. It will make sailing more enjoyable and safer for you.